Today, I'm going to show you how to link your webmail to your Gmail account so that you can manage all your webmails inside your Gmail account. First, sign in to the Gmail account you want to use for webmail configuration. Next, go to your account settings by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of your screen. Click on See All Settings, and then go to the Accounts and Import tab. Then, scroll down to the Check Mail from Other Accounts section and click Add Mail Account. Enter your webmail address, which should end with your domain name, and then click on Next. Make sure Import Emails from My Other Account POP3 is selected, and then click Next again. At this point, you'll be asked to fill in information such as the username, password, and POP server. If you don't have this information, you can contact your hosting provider to get it. After filling in the information, select 995 for the port number since you're using the POP3 server. Next, you'll see some options. You can choose to leave a copy of the retrieved message on the server. I'll select this, but you can leave it unchecked if you have issues based on your server settings. Make sure to select Always Use a Secure Connection SSL when retrieving mail. Then, you can choose to label incoming messages. I recommend selecting this option so you can differentiate your personal emails from those coming from your webmail account. Finally, click on Add Account. You'll see a message saying, Your mail account has been added. You can now retrieve emails from this account. If you also want to send emails using your webmail address, make sure to select Yes and then click Next. Here, you'll be asked to enter the name of your choice. Feel free to use any name you prefer. I'll use example as mine. Make sure to select Treat as an alias for this address. Then, click on Next Step. Next, you'll need to enter the SMTP server, username, password, and port number. In my case, the SMTP server is for outgoing mail. Enter your username and password and use port number 465 for a secure connection. Make sure to select Secured Connection using SSL and then click on Add Account. After that, you'll receive a confirmation message, and you'll need to click the verification link sent to your webmail account. Once you've closed this window, log into your webmail account. Simply refresh the page to check if the confirmation email has arrived. Look for the mail, and after reading through it, click on the provided link. It will open in a new tab, where you can confirm by sending mail. After confirming, return to your Gmail account and refresh the page. On the left-hand side, you'll see your webmail address. To differentiate messages from this account, you can change the label color. Click on the three dots next to the address, select label color, and choose a color that suits your preference. So now, all messages from your email address will be highlighted using the label color you selected. Finally, we can set our webmail address as the default for replying and sending emails. To do this, go to Settings, then see All Settings, navigate to Accounts and Import, and scroll down to Send Mail As. Here we have our web address, and then click on Make Default. After that, we can test it by composing a message to confirm. You'll see it showing our default mail. And that's it. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more. Stay tuned for our next tutorial. Until then, happy hosting.